Hello, uh, welcome to Snooker Pro Tips. I uh, received a personal message regarding this shot I'm going to show you now. Uh, and what it is actually is when the cue ball actually finishes close to the object ball. It can be a red, it can be a colour, uh, it can be any ball on the table. But there is a certain way of playing this shot, so as you, it is actually playable. Uh, so as you can do a little bit more with the white than you actually think you can. Uh, and there is a knack to doing it, and there is a way of going about it properly. So what I'm going to do now is just explain to you just how to go about playing this particular shot. Now, what we can do in this position, actually, we can play all the shots, believe it or not. We can play a screw shot, we can play a stun shot, and we can play a run-through shot. The problem is, with all these shots, you're not going to get a lot of, lot of distance on the white. So... It's, it's only just to move the white, say, about a foot or so, or 18 inches. Uh, so you're not going to play a big, deep screw shot from here, I'm afraid. Uh, you're just going to be able, you will be able to pop the ball, obviously, but not move the white as much. Uh, but there is a way of going about it. Now, the first thing with this shot, actually, is what you can't do with it, and this is one of the few shots, and one of the few times in snooker where you can't actually hit through the cue ball. For the simple fact of it is, you'll, you'll just make contact with everything, and that will be deemed a push shot more, more often than not. So, the trick actually now is to get the bridge hand very close. You can see, probably see there now on the camera how close my bridge hand actually is, and shorten the cue up in general. What you can't actually see in the clip, and what I'm going to do now, I'll move the camera so you can actually see the position that I actually take up with my body. And also, there's a reason for this as well, which I'll explain to you why I'm doing. So as I move the camera around there, let's bring it up slightly. So now as I get the bridge hand nice and close to the cue ball, what you can also see is that to make the pot, I'm not actually getting down on the cue. And the reason for this is because the balls are so close together, it's difficult to judge the angle when you're actually down on the shot. So it's a lot easier to play the shot not from standing bolt upright, but just getting sort of somewhere in between. So, so you're halfway between on the cue and standing up straight. So then you can actually see the angle of the shot a little bit clearer. So you can see there, I'm nice and close. I'm not fully down on the shot, and I've shortened the cue up at the back. And that is the way to actually set up to play that shot. So now, if I bring the camera back round again, to where I was before, you'll actually be able to see what the cue is actually doing. So I'm going to try and play all three shots for you. I'm going to play the screw shot, I'll play a little run through shot, and I'll also play the stun shot so you can see them all. What you'll notice is though that when they're actually played, I don't actually follow through. For the, again, as I said at the, the beginning of the clip, the cue would actually go straight through both balls and that, then you'd be making a foul stroke. So, the screw shot to start with, you see there I'm nice and close, everything's shortened, and then as I make an impact with the white, the cue stops. It doesn't go through the ball. So I'm actually just going to stop on impact with the white. So here's the first one, a little screw shot. See that just screwed up nicely. You see I've got the white quite close, I haven't got a big gap in between there. So now the stun shot. Again, just a delicate one. It stops on impact. You see the white now goes that way, whereas before it came this way with the screw shot. I'm not playing pop the yellow, by the way. I'm just explaining the shot now to play it. And then finally, the run through again. Nice and short. Just a little delicate one. And you can see there. Just stopped on impact nicely and just got the white ball moving. And that basically is the correct way to play that shot. It'll take a lot of practice because the tendency is what you want to do is push the cue through the ball. So you must be patient when you're practicing that shot. And also the tendency is, is to jab a little bit too quick at it, especially when you're playing the screw shot and miss cue. So it does require a lot of practice. Uh, please remember any of the clips that you watch of Snooker Pro Tips that I do, uh, they're going to need some practicing, so don't expect as you'll get the, the shot straight away. If you do, that's fine, that's great. But the tendency is, and more often than not, 99% of the time, it's going to need a little bit of practice. So give yourself three, four weeks of just practicing that shot. A little five minutes worth of that in your practice session, uh, and you'll soon get the angle out to play that shot. 
like I say, it's not easy and it does require a little, just a little bit of patience and a little bit of effort. But uh, if you watch the clip, uh, take it on board. I hope you uh, suddenly get that, get shot into your game. It's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got any comments, I'll do my best to answer all your comments. Uh, if you've got any personal messages, get in touch however way you want to. Uh, and I will get back to you. Uh, and also, uh, these clips, 100% genuine, 100% honest. I don't cut any of them. I don't edit any of them. Uh, and what you actually see is what I actually do. First time of asking. Sometimes, first time of asking. <laughs> uh, and that's it. So, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you.